I've already done a video on how I do the kind of glitchy droney stuff um, with um, Loopy Pro. But what about um, the kind of thing that um, is the backbone of folk songs, chorus songs? Um, so I have a setup for that. Now, um, previously, what I've done is I've walked you through the existing setup and that kind of worked. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to build up um, a loopy layout which covers several different kinds of chorus songs. So at the base uh, for a chorus song um, you only really need to be catching the repeats of the chorus like the Roll the Old Chariot along that uh, was playing out under the titles. So to do that we've got our blank layout and we want to add a simple loop um, and um, I am going to I like to recolor into yellow for this because the nice thing about yellow is it's not the same color as I as I see when things are recording. And I I am a bear of very small brain, and I don't like uh, having my loops be the same color as the recording color. I get confused. So this is the first. This is our first loop. Now it's a yellow loop. Let's let's just have a look at. Uh, let's have a look at those color settings first. So I tap on. Um, oh, what do I do? Yeah, I tap on this, and we look at the yellow group settings. Um, uh, much of it's the same. We we tend not to bother with quantization, or I tend not to bother with quantization. If you are working to a click track or to a musical grid in some sense, then synchronization and quantization makes a great deal more sense. But for me, I like to have the um, I like to have it set up uh, pretty free. So quantization is turned off. One shots are irrelevant for the time being. Uh, we record if empty, obviously. Um, and um, Count in quantization is set to none. Count out quantization is quite important. This is set to loop. This means that um, I can tap almost immediately after starting the recording and the loop will go around and I know it's going to end at the right point. It's going to end at the end of the chorus. I'm not going to not going to have um, a problem there because the loop is the length of the chorus in this particular instance and we're only going to have one loop playing so that's fine. Loop quantization we can leave turned off. Uh, audio threshold recording is not happening. Um, the interesting thing here is of course after we've finished recording we're going to be going on and singing the verse. We don't want it to go either into overdub or into play mode um, uh, but we are going to want to have the option, we could do this with one shot, but uh, uh, for a chorus, a, a lot of the time, in, especially in folky type performance, what, what will happen is you'll sing the last chorus and then immediately sing a repeat. So at that point, you want it to be looping. So we'll, we'll set it to, to be looping, but it stops after recording. And uh, to that end as well, uh, gestures, I have the tap gestures set to, instead of um, toggling play and recording if empty, I'm always going to be overdubbing with choruses. That's how I, I don't have an easy way of um, um, putting it into just straight play because I will always be adding more choruses and I'm not keeping it. If you wanted to, what you could do is take the two finger tap action and set it to be play stop rather than um, uh, rather than record. But I um, I prefer not to bother with that. Um, but yes, you can. So so you basically what you're doing is you're swapping around the two default behaviors. But that's how I have yellow set, and that is all I need to be able to do. You know, um, soon may the weller man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tugging is done, we'll take our leave and go. And then of course I sing another verse and then it's soon may the weller man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tugging is done, we'll take our leave and go. And that's given us one time and then we can build more choruses and more choruses and more choruses. As the as the fancy takes us really, so that's that's how uh, that works. So that lets us 
that lets us do that sort of very simple um, single chorus. Uh, and then, of course, when we get to the last last chorus, you know. Soon may the well man come to bring the sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Soon may the well man come to bring the sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. So we get that repetition at the end that lets us then build that chorus. Now, that's all very well. But folk songs don't just have that structure. This is before I had Loopy Pro. I used to be able to do this with multi-tracking on on um, a Logic Pro instance on a Mac. I'd just record five or six tracks on the fly, and it was a bit fiddly, but it was sort of doable. So, uh, what's next? So, what we want is. Um, so the sort of thing we might have is something like uh, a sea shanty of the form of something like Hanging Johnny, where that would go, Oh, they call me Hanging Johnny, away, boys, away, but I never wrong nobody. So hang, boys, hang, and the hang, boys, hang is obviously the chorus. And away, boys, away is a refrain. It's a call and response that always gets sung. So to do that... What we'll do is we will add a one-shot clip, and I like to have it nice and wide. And let's just have a look at the settings, because if memory serves, this one is, again, we can just leave that in its default. Uh, ah, there's one thing we need to do. Recording settings, we need to turn on auto countout. And that means that when we overdub, uh, and let me just check one other thing in recording settings. Um, Recording settings, global clip settings, yellow, blah, 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 blah. I can't remember if there's something I need to do to set it to overdub, but I think it just does. Um, so we set that to that. We just check our gestures. Tap is... Ah, yeah, we, we're going to make tap be, for a, for a one shot, also be record this clip, um, action toggle. If it's got audio, we overdub. Uh, let's not use um, uh, the default settings. Let's just make sure we turn on auto count out and we set the count out quantization to loop. That's what we do. That gets us what we need. So. So now, what that lets us do, and this means that the great thing about one shots is I only have to tap them once. I only have to remember to tap them once, which is, I just like. So, so oh, they call me hanging Johnny. Away, boys, away, but I never own nobody. So hang, boys, hang. Well, the first I own me mother. Away, boys, away, me sister and me brother. So hang, boys, hang. And the next I hang me granny. Away, boys, boys away. away. Why I'd hang the only family. So hang, boys, hang. And so we go. Quite easy. Quite easy to deal with. Um, the only annoying thing is oh, me clear is not set. Let's just... Uh, um, let's just add a yellow, and let's just, just add a gesture for long swipe. It's clear clip and immediately, but it's, oh well. Uh, let's specifically make it a uh, clear clip. So now if I swipe down, it's gone. And that's just a generic long swipe. That's, and I think that's a bug, and I need to report it because I want that long swipe to kill, um, um, kill one-click recordings like that. So that gives us the hanging Johnny structure. Now there is one other chorus song type structure that um, I use a lot of, and that's where we've got that sort of first line response another line, and then a, um, it's kind of like a pre-chorus that is 
sort of part of the verse, um, but you wouldn't, when you're repeating the chorus, you wouldn't sing that part. So if we are doing, um, so so the, the, the example that I usually use is, um, Oh, we're outward bound for the Bengal Bay. Bold Riley, oh, bold Riley goes on the first thing. And, and, <laughs> I'd bend in, me lads, it's a hell of a way. Bold Rhino has gone away. Pre-chorus. Goodbye, my sweetheart. Chorus. Yeah. So, what we want to do is to take that one shot, copy it, paste one in like that. Now, this is where Loopy Pro is wonderful. What we could do is we could just do that. But what we want to do is that when that pre-chorus part finishes, we go immediately into the chorus, yeah? So what we want is this behaviour to somehow, when it finishes recording, to immediately start recording the chorus loop, right? And, bless it, Loopy Pro has these things called... Let's do that with a mouse so you can see what I'm pressing. Loopy Pro has these things called follow actions, and follow actions are immensely powerful. So, one of the things we can do is we can pick the finish record follow action and we can do all sorts of things after we've finished recording that one shot or overdubbing or or, right? So, one of the things that we can do is we can record a target clip, a specific clip and the specific clip we want is that chorus clip and that action is going to be toggle because that's that's all right. If the clip has audio, we're going to overdub and we can happily use the default settings because if you remember, the, the, the yellow loop is on the default settings for yellow. So that should just work. So we set that follow action. And now let's put ourselves into playback mode. Oh, bat drat. Let's undo that thing that we didn't need. Let's put ourselves into playback mode. Now. Oh, the rain, it rains all day long. Bold Riley, oh, bold Riley. And the northern winds, they blow so strong. Bold Riley, oh, has gone away. Goodbye, my sweetheart. Goodbye, my dear old Bold Riley, oh, Bold Riley. Goodbye, my darling. Goodbye, my dear old Bold Riley, oh, has gone away. Oh, we're outward bound for the Bengal Bay. Bold Riley, oh, Bold Riley. Get bending, me lads, tis a hell of a way. Bold Riley, oh, has gone away. Goodbye, my sweetheart. Goodbye, my dear old Bold Riley, oh, Bold Riley. Goodbye, my darling. Goodbye. Sails are all set. Bold Riley, oh, bold Riley. And them Liverpool girls will not forget. Bold Riley, oh, has gone away. Goodbye, my sweetheart. Goodbye, my dear old bold Riley, oh. Goodbye, my darling. Goodbye, my dear old bold Riley. Oh, has gone away. Oh, cheer up, merry 
don't look long. Bold Riley, oh, bold Riley, come white stocking day, you'll be drinking rum. Bold Riley, oh, has gone away. Goodbye, my sweetheart, goodbye, my dear. so strong Bold Riley O has gone away Goodbye my sweetheart Goodbye my dear O Bold Riley O Bold Riley Goodbye my darling Goodbye That's how to use Loopy for singing chorus songs of all different sorts. I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you can make use of that in your own um, your own Looper settings. If you've enjoyed this, found it useful, whatever, please uh, click on the like button down there, click the subscribe button. And um, if you're interested in hearing me perform live, I perform live most Friday evenings UK time on YouTube. And so if you hit the notification button down there, you will get informed when I um, go live. Um, but usually it's eight o'clock on a Friday, most months, uh, except um, August, which we're currently in as I make this. Um, although the odds are good that I will be doing a couple of streams. But uh, yeah, if you want to catch me, that's the place to catch me. Thank you so much. And thank you to... to um, my uh, co-face supporters and specifically the the um the diamond tier uh, video angel uh, merlin madgower thanks very much merlin um you definitely make these things easier to do and keep me coming back to do it so thank you very much see you later maybe see you alive see you on a stream that would be good wouldn't it